Hey Lila, I've been doing a lot of research into what might have gone wrong along with the thoughts from the developer. Glad to hear it. What could we have done differently? It's a bit hard to describe without a picture. Here, let me show you. Firebase has the ability to nest data up to 32 levels deep. But don't let that tempt you. Generally speaking, nesting data is a bad idea in a NoSQL database. When you create a data structure with deep nesting, it hurts performance and can result in a disastrous design. This is because in Firebase, when you read a data node, you also retrieve all of the children of that node. And remember, Firebase is designed to be a real-time solution for mobile applications. Taking something like 20 seconds or longer to read in data doesn't qualify as real-time. So what's the solution to this challenge? The solution is to denormalize your data, which is basically the process of ignoring how objects might normally be nested, such as having all items contained within a shopping list, and instead focusing on adding some extra data and or regrouping data to make getting the exact data you need for your app simple. This results in queries that have the needed information to return results, but not at the expense of performance. So let's look at a before and after example in Firebase. In Shopping Lists Plus Plus Heyday, there was an internal chat application. That's all gone now, but we can still look at the schema. First, let's look at the anti-pattern for this chat app. The chat app had rooms, users, and messages. Let's say the main screen of the app was a list of rooms that the user can enter to chat in. For this, we need to grab a list of chat room names from the database, which would involve us getting the data from here. In the first example, we see that in order to list the names of rooms requires the entire rooms tree to be downloaded to the client. We have all this extra data we don't want. Imagine how much data would have to be queried if we had a thousand rooms worth of data. Let's look at a denormalized example. Here, data is split into separate paths, which in turn allow for the information to be downloaded in segments related to what the app actually needs. The list of users is downloaded as needed, messages are fetched separately, and this allows the application to remain performant.